Following a decline in tests today, the Black Hills area saw a surge in new results. Take a look at the numbers. On Monday, the five counties served by Monument Health had 112 test results posted on the state website. 32 of those tests were positive. On Tuesday, the area had 71 tests posted online. 40 were positive. This morning, we reached out to Monument Health to find out why testing was down. They weren't sure. Then, just before noon, the state released the results of more than 1,700 Black Hills tests. We reached out to the state to find out if there was an issue with the reporting, but we haven't heard back yet. Those test results are an important tool for the community. Tonight, Cuddleland Sydney Thorson finds out who is being tested and how the results are helping keep people safe. For Rapid City area schools, paying close attention to the number of active COVID-19 cases in the area is essential. That allows us to keep our families safe by knowing where those cases are, who those close contacts are. We're able to make sure that those folks are staying home and not um, further spreading the virus. The positivity rate is another important number. So you take the number of positive cases divided by the total number of tests we complete. If you look at yesterday's numbers on the state website, you get a 56% positivity rate in the Black Hills. Officials with Monument Health say that number doesn't reflect what's happening in the Black Hills, where they're doing hundreds of tests every day. Over the last seven days in the Monument Health system, there has been an 11.3% positivity rate of COVID-19 test results. In the Pennington County area, it's at 17.2%. Director of Lab Services Emily Leach says 100% of patients who show symptoms of the virus will be tested. Any of those asymptomatic testing, we're partnering with the Department of Health to determine what criteria and how we're going to test and when to test. So we're constantly evaluating our criteria and expanding who is appropriate for testing. Leach says Monument Health lab results have an interface with the Department of Health. That way, the DOH can see the number of test results easily. However, you might notice some different numbers. And so sometimes we have seen a lag in the data that we present to when they post their data. And that could be some of the discrepancies we're seeing right now. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Monument Health performed 8,500 COVID-19 tests in August. Patients from out of state who test for COVID-19 will be reported on Monument Health's data, but not the South Dakota Department of Health's data.